So here is an, a surprise trip, like literally um, about four o'clock today, five o'clock today. Uh, Spud thought, do you know what? We'll have a look, see where we can stay for the night and what we can do for tomorrow, because we're off tomorrow. And I thought, right, let's try Blackpool. So we went on Expedia, had a look what hotels were available. And believe it or not, we're staying here at the Grand Hotel, which was previously a Hilton and was previously a, oh, the ones that run Pontins. I remember and I'll put it in the link. Um, but it's now just as a Grand Hotel. It has pool, leisure access. Um, we've actually got beachfront room and we paid £28. Um, believe it or not, you could get a room for £17 at the Norbic, but you know, I thought, no, we'll go up a class and you can try for 28 Right, so I'm not sure I mentioned this um, last night, but the car park states prices on the outside. Um, and when we went in, the receptionist asked, did we have a car to park? We said no, because we've parked external from the hotel. Um, but getting into the um, room, there was a sign on our sheet to say that the car park was £7 for hotel gas, which is a lot cheaper than what it states on the on the sign, because um, it's only up to eight hours for £7. Well, we would have been here all evening. I'm not sure what time um, the car park would have run out this morning, I'm assuming around about check-in time, which would have been 11 o'clock. But it has got a decent sized car park. I haven't, sorry. The weather's cleared up a bit today. As stated, we paid £28 for the room last night, though most of the time you see it for around £49. Even that's not bad, but that's still excluding breakfast. Um, First floor, I think, and have a look at that. Okay, we were on floor five. It does say to insert your room key. Um, but that doesn't seem to be. <laughs> Miss breakfast. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking what time everything's open till. I've obviously missed this morning. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe 
maybe they want to, we'll try breakfast next time. Yeah, they've blocked up the card reader, so that doesn't really affect anyone. Cool. You can see the building's been quite grand. Right, okay. Room 502 at the Grand. I, I'd never get in the bath anyway, but that, that is literally just overuse, limescale. Do the touch of bleach down the lid, nothing horrendous. What smellies have we got? What smellies? Wardrobes. It comes with a fan. Got something. Just marked that's not dirty but a full fur nothing major not for the price of the room anyway ironing board furniture matches the rooms you know it's like all that art deco isn't it Wants a repaint. Nothing. Hands coming off clean. Luggage bit. That's all been vinyled out. Let's have a look. King size bed. Reading lights. Turn them off. Desk area. The chair. Oh, section. TV. So this is room five oh two, and you've actually got the beachfront. Beach run for you. USB charging points. What's that? Oh, right, okay. If you're still working off your modem. So, what we've got in here. Oh, they took out the fridge. Have a look at the tea tray. Oh, I like that. That's quite handy. Right, so dare we? Well, to be fair, they are clean. Flip the kettle. A oh, bit of lime scale. And what have we got? Milk. Coffees. And teas. Right. Oh. So the guess the guess is how much do we pay for this room? So we booked it online on Expedia. And we paid twenty-eight pounds. I think that just says it all for itself. I mean, I don't know what you expect for £28, but I think this is a bit of a bargain. And, yeah, 
there's a swimming pool. We haven't even looked around the hotel yet. Swimming pool, steam room, wasn't it? Um, they do do breakfast. We haven't bothered paying for breakfast. That's £10 each additional charge. They have got a car park. We've parked round back, saved again. So we literally have paid £28 to stay here. And um, we'll have a look around the rest of the hotel later. It's, um, it is an Art Deco hotel, so everything is... It's what it is. It's it's very it's really pretty. All I would say is the room was quite hot last night because the curtains were really thick. Um, but I mean that's our fault. We should just turn the heating right down. We had a radiator in there. Um, bed was massive. What looks like would have been two not normal size singles. The big singles have been put together, but, um, but they have got a king mattress on it. So. The match, the, the bed itself felt absolutely huge, um, and it was comfy. Bedding was clean. Can't really ask for much more. Shot of the tower. I mean, that's how far you are away.